Have you ever given any thought to both the future of our solar system and the future of our planet Earth? The Sun, which is the very energy that holds our system together, will eventually be the cause of its destruction, which is an intriguing truth. It remains to be seen when and how this cosmic drama will play out. Will Earth be able to withstand the expansion of the Sun or will it be destroyed by its enormous influence? But before starting, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And now, let's get started. We go into a recent study that exposes the timetable for the Sun to devour Mercury, Venus, and Earth as part of today's examination. This study was conducted by several researchers. In the same way that every other star has a finite lifespan, so does our Sun. It has been estimated to be approximately 4.6 billion years old and is currently regarded to be in the midst of its life cycle, which places it in the category of a main sequence star. The transition of hydrogen into helium, which is the source of the energy and light that is required for life to survive on Earth, is the source of fuel for the Sun, which is located at the center of the solar system. However, as the Sun continues to age, it will eventually exhaust its hydrogen reserves, which will lead to a dramatic alteration at some point in the future. As soon as the core of the Sun is bereft of hydrogen, gravity compels it to compress, which in turn leads its outer layers to expand, which ultimately results in the birth of a red giant star. The Sun will expand to a size that is greater than the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth as a result of this transition, which will take place over a period ranging from 4 billion to 7 billion years. Through observations of other stars that have the potential to become red giants, such as BD plus 48740, which is around 2,000 light years away, it is possible to gain an understanding of the process of adjacent planets swallowing from other stars. An anomaly in the atmosphere of the star revealed that there were elevated levels of lithium which is a metal that is generally found on planets that are composed of rocks. It is clear from this that the star had just swallowed a planet that was situated near it recently. Mercury, Venus, and probably even Earth are all doomed to meet their inexorable end. This is the natural course of events. It is projected that the Sun will finally complete a complete orbit around Mercury in around 6 billion years, which will lead to the extinction of the planet within a few thousand years. The Sun will then arrive at Venus where it will first eliminate the atmosphere of the planet before consuming it and reducing it into planetary ash. This will take place once the Sun has arrived at Venus. One can draw parallels between the expansion of the Sun and the density that lies in store for Earth. As the Sun continues to undergo its red giant phase, it is anticipated that the gravitational force that it exerts on the planets will decrease. This is because the Sun is losing mass constantly. Even though the debate in the scientific community centers on the question of whether or not the Earth will continue to exist, this may lead planets, including Earth, to spiral outward. However, it is yet unknown whether or not Earth and other planets will be able to escape the engulfment of the Sun. The expansion of the Sun is expected to reach 1.2 astronomical units, which is slightly beyond the orbit of the Earth according to the forecast of physicists over the next few hundred years. If the Earth were to move away from the Sun at a rate of merely 3 millimeters per year, it would be considered a possibility. The calculations show that the expansion of the Sun will not be overcome by the expansion of the Earth, which will most likely result in the evaporation and consumption of the Sun. This will ultimately lead to destruction of the Sun. This terrible event might take place anywhere from 4 to 6 billion years from now. Yet, the planet may become uninhabitable much sooner than that. As the light of the Sun continues to increase at a rate of 10% every billion years, the habitable zone will eventually extend beyond the boundaries of Earth. Consequently, this will lead to the melting of ice caps, the evaporation of water, and the activation of the catastrophic greenhouse effect, which is analogous to the transformation that Venus went through. The habitability of Earth may decrease within a billion years, which will result in the drying up of oceans and the planets becoming inhospitable. Estimates vary, but this may happen. Despite this, there is a debate among members of the scientific community on whether or not life can adjust to a warmer environment, even though it seems that a billion years is a big milestone. As the Sun continues to grow in strength, it is anticipated that in the not-too-distant future, the Earth will transform into a planet that is comparable to Venus, both of which are inhospitable. 
Despite this, the possibility of interplanetary colonization develops throughout the enormous period of 1 billion years, provided that the development of humanity is taken into mind. The continuous existence of humanity in the face of potentially catastrophic catastrophes is called into question by several questions that have not been answered. Even though this is the case, whatever happens to Earth, it is impossible to deny the fact that the Sun will eventually turn into a red giant. This is a cosmic reality that cannot be contested. It is estimated that the Sun will grow to a size that is roughly 256 times larger than its current size in around 7.5 billion years. As a consequence of this expansion, the Kuiper Belt will become the location of the habitable zone. Even if Earth may vanish, there is a lot of conjecture about whether or not Saturn and Jupiter will be able to sustain life within this new zone. There is a chance that these gas giants will experience atmospheric erosion as a result of greater solar exposure. Yet, there are several observed exoplanets that circle red giants that are not vulnerable to this process, even though there is still a lack of understanding regarding the future of Jupiter and Saturn. Titan, the moon of Saturn, has emerged as a potential location within the new zone that could allow for human habitation. Titan, which possesses a significant atmosphere, can cultivate conditions that are comparable to those that existed on Earth in its early stages for a few hundred million years. This may be the case if Titan were to develop a substantial atmosphere. It is possible that other celestial worlds, such as the moons of Neptune, Triton, and Pluto, could potentially provide habitats that are appropriate for life in the future. These habitats could serve as alternatives to the absence of Earth in the future. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.